Hello, I'm in my park again. Uh, this time, instead of being cold, it's really hot. Get, get to see all the weather in my videos, don't we? Anyway, this one is about anyone who can be an innovator of themselves and or whatever it is their social groups do. So I'm basically saying, I believe anyone can be an innovator. But to get to the innovator, to become the ability to innovate ourselves and our social groups, we first have to work out often, I think, what stops us from being an innovator. And what I believe stops, uh, certainly stops me from innovating, is the pressure to fit in and to conform to my social groups that I belong to. Okay? So when I'm socialising, I find my social groups, I join them, and my goal of joining my social groups is to fit in. Okay? That's the opposite of innovation, because what I'm doing is finding the social codes and fitting in. That's not going to be innovating, because I'm going to support what's already being done. So the fitting in stops me from innovating. So, therefore, in order to, if I want to innovate both myself or the social group, I think what I, need, well, I, think what I needed to do was pull back out of my social groups and learn to enjoy the space between the social groups. Okay? Otherwise, in my dodgy drawing, that's me in the space between my social groups. Okay? Which I call my innovation space. And what this does is allow me to you know, take, a, take a look at who I am, what I'm doing, what my social groups are doing. And because I'm looking at that, it's easier for me to spot the innovations of myself and of what the social groups are doing. Okay, so I can then make the choice to rejoin the social group and act as an innovator, or sort of stay out of my social groups while I sort of innovate myself to make myself more useful. Okay? So to get into the innovation space, I found that I need to remember to do two things. One is as I socialise with people, I don't tell them what to do. I have to avoid telling people what to do because I don't belong to my social groups. And if I don't belong to a social group, I have no right to tell anyone in that social group what to do. I'm in the space between. So by having that rule of not telling anyone else what to do, it helps me not get sucked back in to my social groups. Don't tell them what to do because I have no right to, because I'm not in the social group. Okay? The second one here uh, is to make my own choices. Of course, when I'm in the social group, um, I'm making choices myself, but within the confines of what the social group is. When I'm in the space between social groups, uh, I've got, I have to make all my own choices. I don't have any guidance. Uh, it's much more free reign, so I need to get much better at making my own choices. So if I always, always make my own choices, don't tell people what to do, i found I can get into my innovation space and then innovate myself or spot in the ways of innovate myself and the groups. Okay? Now, socialising with those two guidelines, if you like, takes a lot of practice. So I have to practice socialising uh, in, my, in my innovation space. Okay? So I have to practice eventually go to social events. So what I've done, what we've started to do, is to create social events designed around making it easy for people to socialise and do things, but where every member, the person attending the social event, is trying to get into their innovation space. Okay? So it allows us to practice to get into it.